Okay, so we are going to go through the task of doing a BPO for BPO fulfillment. This is actually going to be an inspection BPO. So there's quite a different, there's quite a few different ones that we'll do for this company. Um, but I want you all to see how to do it. This is an order that we got today. Um, and it's due. So it's due on October 12th. I have five of these orders, but I want it to go through the steps as to how you get it done. So first you're gonna to go to bpofulfillment.com. That's the website that you'll go through. Again, it's BPO Fulfillment, F-U-L-F-I-L-L-M-E-N-T.com, right here. Passcode, excuse me, username is Kimber, capital K-I-M-B-E-R-8-1. Passcode is praise11 with the money sign. So it's capital P R A I S E 1 1. And then you'll do the shift and the number four key. So that's the money sign at the end. Press enter and it'll bring you to, actually, it'll bring you to this page, um, to your home page. And then from the home page, we can click on our orders and I'll show you how that's going to look. It's gonna take a few seconds here. Okay, so this is the screen it's gonna look like when you go to home. So you'll see here we have five orders in that are down here pending. Um, so you're just gonna simply click on the link to that order. So in this case, this this one, it's the one that we're working on now. So I'm gonna click 145 Scottish Avenue in Simpsonville. And it's going to come up. Okay, so this is the screen for the 147 Scottish Avenue. Comes up, we're gonna click on edit form. And it's thinking about it. Gonna bring it up here. Okay, and we're gonna key in the inspection date since this inspection was done today. I'm gonna to key in today's date. You key in whatever date we tell you that the inspection was done on. Don't key in this date. Um, are any legal notices? And then we're just gonna go down and answer the questions here. Oh, stop it. No legal notices posted on the property, so I'm going to say no. Does the condition of the home conform to the neighborhood? Yes. Risk of vandalism? No. And we'll have these questions answered for you. Um, I'll scan over the sheet to you once we've gotten the done the inspection on it. I'll scan all this over to you for you to get processed and uploaded to these um, properties. Um, condition of the property. We will simply go through and answer all the questions.
And if I'm not mistaken, it is going slow because we are not in Internet Explorer. This system, I believe this system works better in Internet Explorer. But you can try them out. I'm in Chrome right now. I love Chrome, so I use it all the time. All right, here I'm just going to say observed from the ground just so they'll know I did not climb up on top of no roof. Exterior in good condition. Yes, windows broken. No. And once I'm not recording, this goes so much faster. Um, but right now it is going slow. There was no swimming pool at this house. I'm just gonna put right here, no pool. And then we're just going to go down and answer all the questions. Exposed wiring, no. Adequate breaker box. Yes, smoke detectors. Yes, and there were seven. And one carbon monoxide detector. Nope, I didn't see any missing or damaged outlets. No loose or missing light fixtures. And we're just going to go down and answer all these questions here. You'll see we're getting close to the bottom. Oh.
Come on down. Appliances, stove and range. Yes, there was a stove and range. And again, we'll supply you with all these answers to these questions so you don't have to guess at them. Um, these answers right here may not be the answers for the reports that you fill out, so they will vary. So um, don't worry about having these same answers in there. So I'm going to say yes here, but no security bars. No security bars. I'm going to say not applicable. Not applicable. I'm going to go just for the sake of this video. I'm going to go ahead and pretend like we have already done all of this down here. Let me see if it's going to let me skip to the next. Um, select the condition. You're just going to select the condition of it. Um, requires no repairs. So I'm clicking next. I'm going to go back and do it. Once I turn this video recording off, it'll go much faster and I can just kind of snap my way right on through the answers. It doesn't usually take this long to do them, but I think it's because I'm recording this video that it's doing that. So let's see what it says here. Okay, so I'm going to resume the recording here. Let's get out of that. I don't know. So it goes to the next screen to my photos. So I can, it requires all the photos to be uploaded and it tells you right up here what photos it needs. So if we go to our iPhone, which should be on here now, let me make sure. Should be read Well, 
I don't want to download iTunes. It's all my music from my iPhone. I don't want to download all that. Don't nobody have time for that. Okay, just get to my iPhone would be nice. Hopefully this is it. Let's see. Well, boo. So normally you would just drag and drop your photos into here and assign them as to whatever it is. So if it's your front picture, you're going to click the front picture of it. If it's the address verification, street scene, whatever it is, you're going to assign it to its task there. So that's the gist of it. Then you click save and then you'll submit. So again, you click save and you submit once all the pictures have been uploaded to it. Very easy to do. I'm going to go right now and send them from my phone to the, um, to the computer because of course I can't see it. So we're going to do that and we will get this done and then get back to you guys shortly. All right. So y'all take care and let me know how it's going. Talk to you soon. Bye.